So before we get into today's review, I just wanted to say real quick, I wanted to put this at the top of the video, because let's be honest, a lot of you aren't going to stay till the end. Um, I have a Q&A going on that's going to be, that I'm going to do for my 300 sub special. I just released a video where um, you can go and you can comment your questions for that video in the, in the comments. Uh, I suppose you could just leave the questions in this comment section, I could roll them over into there. But that'd be extra work, and you know, you guys don't want to make me do that. So, yeah, real quick, you can click the link up in the eye corner. It'll also be in the, in the end card of this video. You can go over to that video, leave your question, I'll answer it. But yeah, it should be great fun. It'll be a good time, it'll be a nice, uh, it'll be a big thank you for getting me to 300 subscribers, um, which I am very grateful for. Yeah, that's all. That's, that's my shameless plug of the day. As I said, please go leave a comment. I'd like to have a decent amount of questions for that. Um... Yeah, so without any further ado, hello everyone, how are you doing today, and welcome to my review of IDW Sonic the Hedgehog Tangle and Whisper number 2. So without any further ado, let's hop right into this comic. So the comic begins, Tangle and Whisper are chilling outside of the, uh, the uh, Eggman base where Mimic is hiding out. So we go, they see that, they start to make their plan, but they can't see any way other than just kind of like walking through the front door. So they're like, we it's not very it's whatever they're, they're making up their plan and then Tangle's like so you have a history with him and Whisper's like yeah and Tangle's like touchy subject not gonna talk about it okay so they sneak in and Whisper's like whatever you do don't let him trick you so of course Tangle immediately lets him trick her uh w which granted he pulls he does something I wasn't really expecting he like has he has like two layers of treachery, cause like he turns into Jewel. You remember Jewel the Beetle. Then he turns into Whisper, and as Whisper says that Mimic must have kidnapped Jewel. So then he tricks Tangle, and he locks her in this safe where she is going to suffocate to death. So then he turns into Tangle to lure Whisper into a trap where he like controls this egg pawn. I think this big egg robot, and they fight. Whisper defeats it obviously. And is like, where's, where's Tangle? And I'm just gonna say it right now, I much prefer Whisper's design when her eyes are open. I don't know why, maybe that's, maybe just because I'm used to seeing Sonic characters that way, but she, I think her design looks better when her eyes are open, no. Like, granted, I guess her eyes are covered a lot by the visor thing, so it doesn't really matter. And as long as they're open in scenes like this where she's supposed to show emotion, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but I just, that's my personal preference. I think she looks better with the eyes open. Although I guess her eyes being open in these scenes maybe highlights it, but I don't know. You, l l let me know in the comments below if you think that. Mimic starts turning into these different members, presumably of ta of Whisper's old team, and is like, well, you know, you could, you could beat me up, or you could go save Tangle, and I have explosive rigged around this place, so I don't know if you can get out in time. So then, of course, Whisper goes to, um, uh, save Tangle, um, and Mimic is revealed to be like this octopus thing. I don't know if we knew that before. I think I saw something floating around about Mimic being an octopus. He looks, he looks like vaguely knucklesy, right? Like I'm not the only one who sees that. I, I think it's just the the tentacles that kind of like the quills. It's it's a weird design. It's very it's a very weird design. Um, it looks it looks cool though. Whisper rescues Tangle from the safe, but then the bombs start going off. So they pull an Indiana Jones. Except instead of with a fridge, it's a safe, and they jump back in it, so that way they can survive the blast. They get out, and Whisper is like, just leave, Tangle, please leave. And Tangle's like, well, I know, I just, like, I I really like this end scene. Because uh, Tangle's like, no, let me prove that I'm, I'm not a failure. And Whisper's like, it's not because you're a failure. And she she's like, I can't lose another friend. And again, I think this is where the eyes opening adds, adds a good effect. So then she like breaks down and I think starts crying. And then we, then it ends promising that next up we're going to get the, the, uh, Whisper's Secrets Revealed. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, I, so yeah, and then the issue ends. So, Okay. If I were to have one complaint with this series, it really feels like it's all meant to be read at once. <laughs> like, because overall, I, I've enjoyed this a lot so far. 
But like issue one, it was like, okay, this is this is getting started. It feels like if you were to watch a movie in four different parts. Like that's how it feels. Like like you know, you're going along with the plot and then they're like, How many pages do we have left? Oh none. Come back next month. Like I don't know, because like overall, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, these two make up a much better protagonist than Sonic has been for the main book. Like, I don't know, may I might be in the minority there. But I, like, also, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard that, like, Sega doesn't keep as much of, like, a stranglehold on characters like these as they do with, like, characters like Sonic, Tails, you know, game characters. So that could be why that they're, why they're allowed to, like, you know, have a bit more depth and show a bit more emotion. Uh, I don't know, like, overall, I really enjoyed this. Uh, so I'm, I'm interested to see how it ends. I'm, I'm glad we have two issues left. It's not like, um... Like, we've had other uh, story arcs, Battle for Angel Island, <coughs> where uh, by the second issue, I was just, like, done. And I was like, okay, I guess they could probably save this, but they're not going to recover from the middle part. As I said, I enjoyed this. The only problem I have is, like, it, it feels very unnaturally, like, it doesn't service the story to come to a grinding halt to then wait for the next issue, I guess. Like, it feels like a story that would much better service, like, just a one graphic novel as opposed to four separate issues, um, but I don't know, so overall, uh, I enjoyed it, if it sounded good to you, be sure to, you know, go out and get it, uh, as I said before, I'm gonna shamelessly plug it again, I got a Q&A coming up, go over to the, uh, to that video, leave a question if you want to ask anything, I don't know if you, if you care, I guess, I don't know, so, um, if you like what you see, be sure to leave a like, subscribing, help grow the channel, uh, and I will see you in the next video.